important part is getting to hang out with all of you amazing folks. So thank you for coming. Thank you for being here. For some of you, thank you for making uh, the long and icy journey down here to Madison. Um, and thank you for all the work and effort you put into your, your projects and your schooling this year. Uh, if you're an instructor or an advisor, uh, you're awesome. Thank you so much. I know that the students wouldn't be doing the great things that they're doing, and I wouldn't have a job if it wasn't for all the great work that you guys do. So thank you very much. To our students, to the, the stars of today's show, um, you represent over 300,000 Wisconsin folks are trying to make better lives for themselves and for their communities every day. And the fact that you're willing to come down here and do your spiel and make the case um, is going to have impact, positive impact, for all 300 of them, 1,000 of them, and for all of us um, going forward. In addition to doing great stuff for yourself, learning new skills, um, becoming successful professionals. You're engaged in a process that some of you may not think about every day, um, and I don't know that a lot of people understand is a part of your education, but you're developing a passion and a compassion for others in your community, and you're developing leadership skills that are gonna allow you to make a difference. Those skills are as important as any technical knowledge that you learn, and I, I just don't want you to forget that, because events like today are where you practice them, and you also demonstrate them, and you're gonna need those. I don't care if you are going to become a cop, or a nurse, or a, a cosmetologist, or a farmer. Every profession on the planet requires leaders, and it requires people who care about what they're doing. Lots of folks say that, you know, you're going to be the next generation of leaders, but I would argue that you're actually already there. Right now, students who are willing to talk about what they're worth, um, they're pretty honest with those of you that I've had a chance to talk to already about what they like about the program. Um, I think your faculty are pretty amazing, but it's mostly about each other. I don't know if, if you realize that, but almost every student I've asked about what they like about their program, it's the connections that they've made with their, their classmates that they believe are going to carry them through throughout their careers. And that is a really important and valuable um, recognition, that you can't do things very well and very successfully all by yourself. It takes relationships, it takes a network, it takes partnerships, and you guys are building them every day that you're at school. I uh, have to do a couple of housekeeping uh, notices. First, um, for the past four years, uh, there has been a group here, Scott, I just saw you and now Scott Laburn um, and the team from Moraine Park have run, organized, made this event happen. Um, I want to thank you guys for keeping it going through some tough weather conditions and um, just changes going on in the system. Um, and I think uh, we should all actually thank the Moraine Park team for helping us.
make me feel so proud about what technical colleges do. More importantly, as somebody who has to live in this state, you make me optimistic about what the future is going to bring. Uh, because I know you're going to be leading it and you're going to be building it. So thank you very much for that. Wisconsin is full of opportunities for workers of all skill levels, of all industries, 
Um, and we're trying to make sure that, you know, in addition to trying to attract people into Wisconsin, we want to make sure that the bill of goods we have for our residents is an attractive one. So we'll continue to tell our story, but we also want to improve our transportation, making sure our roads and, and, and highway systems are, are drivable, that they're safe, um, you know, that we have school districts that are adequately funded, that, you know, graduate critical thinkers. Um, and of course, with our governor, it's no, no surprise that he's really um, a strong advocate for making sure we invest strong in our uh, secondary education system uh, and that we graduate professionals that can perform uh, immediately getting on the job after graduation. So uh, as we move forward, just know that we're going to be uh, putting forward policies that will empower every working family in Wisconsin um, and policies that provide them with that clear roadmap to economic success that very much includes uh, careers in technical education training uh, as well as our tech college system. So uh, wrapping up, I'll keep this uh, as brief as I can. Uh, I was told 90 minutes, we'll make it five. Um, <laughs> But wrapping up, I just want to say thank you again to the students and the staff that are here today, uh, to Dr. Foy uh, and to the Detective College System for putting forward uh, such a strong, uh, strong set of programs for our students here in Wisconsin. Thank you very much for all you do, and I appreciate the invite to be here. Thank you. Yeah. 